Six new news telling you what you hopefully didn't know, so now you know. Greetings Pedalheads and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to our news roundup where we tell you all that's new in the world of sim racing, racing games and anything of interest to Pedalheads in all things digital. Today we have news about Rocket League, R-Factor 2, Grid, Dirt Rally 2, Automobilista 2 and about our race and stream. Chock full! And if you have any news for us, be it a sim racing league, a different sim racing event or any other news that you think fit here, send us a mail to news at romrom.net. That's news at romrom.net. Rocket League owners and makers Epic Games and Psyonix have decided that Mac and Linux users are not worthy of their time, attention and we suppose money as they will discontinue online multiplayer support for the game in March. And without multiplayer, Rocket League is kinda pointless, in it. At least if you bought the game from Steam, it seems you'll be able to play on a Windows PC over the same license. It seems that the change from 32-bit to 62-bit is part of the issue, kind of ironic as Linux and Mac supported 64-bit way before Windows did, and because they are moving from DX9 to DX11, we suppose because of the bling bling of graphics. They recommend those on Linux and Macos to use Bootcamp or Wine. At least they are offering refunds to all buyers who are going to be screwed by this decision. Tis the season of the roadmaps, la 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 Or so it seems, we're gonna talk later of the Automobilista 2 roadmap. Studio 397 published the R Factor 2 roadmap, announcing that they're gonna update the user interface and are gonna release this new interface next week for those who are on beta. They have a list of big fixes based on user feedback, so good for them, good for us. They have also said they're working on a director mode for broadcast with a customizable overlay. More details to be given next month at the next roadmap information. Also, GT3 cars have been buffed or nerfed depending on feedback from their test drivers so that they now perform equally. But who wants that? We want realism. If a car is blah, it should drive blah. If a car is great, it should drive great. They have also announced four endurance events, the Sebring 12, the Nordschleife 24 and the RF24 Le Mans. I see what you did there, Studio 397. And have not released any details for the fourth event. They have also announced two regular series, the RF2 GT Pro and the RF2 GT Challenge. The new version of Grit has gotten a lukewarm welcome amongst the public. Nevertheless, or maybe even because of that, they are delivering their new Season 2 DLC on February the 12th with six new cars, Spielberg and an expansion of the career mode by 33 events. No prize has been given yet, but the Season 1 DLC had a prize of €11.49. Continuing with Codemaster information, Dirt Rally 2.0 will get a flat out pack by the 24th of March with two new Scottish locations, 12 routes and two Subaru, the Impreza S4 Rally and the Legacy RS and 40 new scenarios including time penalties, damaged equipment and mechanical failure. No prize has been given for this pack. And again tomorrow we're gonna be racing with the video game addicts again with race room again DTM 2016 but tomorrow it's gonna be on Zandford another one of my favorite tracks as always we're gonna start at 2000 CET and as always you are all invited to race with the video game addicts it's a fun race the data for the server is gonna be the same as last week and the week before that and so on and we're gonna call this stream this time road to 500 as we are nearing the magical number of 500 subscribers welcome all new subscribers and to those who have been subscribers for a long time thank you very much for your support if you're not a subscriber yet what are you waiting for come join the family and here 
it is, the news that you have all been waiting for. From what it sounds, Riza are cleaning up AMS2, they're saying that they're working on all fronts, and also say that the release is going to be at some point late in March. They have made the user interface public, we already had had some glimpses and were allowed to comment on previous versions, and even then, these screenshots are work in progress. They have also announced the first two DLCs, the first one is going to be Hockenheim in four configurations, 1977, 1988, 2001 and the modern one. A further DLC we can expect not long after the first one is going to be Silverstone with versions for 1975, 1991, 2001 and modern. According to Risa, we can expect both DLCs within the next six months with at least three more tracks being teased by them for for next year. This car is also a teaser of a future DLC, and while Senna tested once for Brabham, this was not the car he drove, so does anybody know? What could it be? The beta, they confirm, will be out on the 28th of February, expect a special from us around that time, and as we said, the first public 1.0 version is scheduled for March. Riza are also keen on making clear that the 1.0 is only going to be one step in a continuous journey for the next at least two years. We are drooling already and cannot wait these 27 days, how about you? Luckily we can make your wait bearable by tons and tons of videos. Just check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other at the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.